Welcome back to the Hunter of Dividends YouTube channel. I'm Kyle Hunter, aka the Hunter of Dividends. You can follow me at Hunt Dividends on Twitter. Appreciate those of you who subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this content. We're getting into another dividend stock. I'm going to get right into it. You know, I don't like to waste your time. Your time's important. Let's look at Snap On Incorporated, ticker symbol SNA. Here you see the one year chart of SNA, 199.56 as of close on July 12th. Here we have a stock that started in the 220 range, has drifted down into the 190s, a low of 190.08, closed here at 199.56. You can see the six month chart, also a five year where it has gone up modestly over the last five years, not a big move at all. Dividend yield down there you can see as well. Earnings are going to come out here on July 21st. Let's look at Simply Safe Dividends, which I um, always talk highly about. I love the service a lot. Simply Safe Dividends shows us that the dividend yield is 2.85% here for Snap On. We also have a dividend safety score of 99. Dividend growth 15% in the most recent. Can see here i have a very small uh very small portion of my portfolio in snap on right now only 800 market value so this is one of my smallest uh, positions in my dividend portfolio i need to fix that i think snap on is a good investment i've been looking at this one a little bit more closely here of late the last five years we have a CAGR of 15 percent that's very impressive and a 29 years uninterrupted dividend streak. So if we take a look at timeliness here, uh, Simply Safe Dividends is telling us that this stock may be a bit undervalued. Why? Its dividend yield is higher than it has been. And its forward PE ratio is only 12.3 compared to a five-year average of 13.8. Also, the sector, Snap-on with only 12.3, while industrials in general, 16.3. I'm most impressed by the uh, earnings and free cash flow payout ratio here for Snap-on. I think for uh, the business that they're in to be so consistently uh, impressive when it comes to generating free cash flow is really impressive to me. A payout ratio of 34%, well below. Um, you know, Simply Safe Dividends says 60% their preference or below. Free cash flow, 31% in 2021. If you look at Earnings per share, look at the growth here. Just really impressive to see this consistent growth. And uh, there was just the one year where it was down just a tick, and that was the COVID year 2020. Shares outstanding have dropped a little bit here of late. Sales have grown very impressively. I, I like the growth of this company. I think there's plenty of growth to come here. Certainly if there's a recession, and I don't want to be the one that predicts whether there will be or not, is there's probably a pretty decent chance of that. But if there's a recession, um, Snap-on could slow down a little bit for a while, but I think long-term, this looks like a good company. 25% operating margin and 21% return on equity. Look at this net debt and net debt to capital, to EBITDA and capital. Just fantastic, great-looking balance sheet. Interest coverage of 21.48. They're doing a really good job here at Snap-on. I think management is, is excellent here. So... Everything looks good from a Simply Safe dividend standpoint. Let's take a look at fast graphs. Um, I know that a lot of you have said that you do like looking at the fast graphs information. Um, I think this is fantastic to be able to look at some of the Simply Safe dividend information and then also take a look at valuation on fast graphs. Uh, valuation is vitally important to be able to buy in at a good time. Here we have a look at a chart of adjusted operating earnings here for Snap-on. You see the blue um, graph here is what this is usually traded at, and uh, red would be 15 for PE, and it's trading below both of those right now, blended PE of 12.76. We see, let's switch this over to free cash flow um, because I think free cash flow is vitally important. I think it's probably undervalued by most stock investors, especially dividend investors. Uh, price of free cash flow, 9.94, and their averages have been far above that. Right now, this stock, 
you see it's generally traded pretty close to this blue line. It's pretty far below it right now for price to free cash flow. So it looks like a good value from that as well. Let's take a quick look at sales. Sales um, looks more, a bit more expensive from this price to sales um, standpoint. So now let's take a look at the forecasting. Let's forecast out. This is um, analyst forecast. Certainly these are uh, questionable at best, uh, but it's the best we have to go from um, sales. Again, it looks a bit high from the sales perspective. So let's see if we bring in um, adjusted operating earnings, if it looks better. Again, it does. Um, this company's done a really good job with their balance sheet and minimizing costs. I think that has really helped a lot. That shows up more here in the earnings side of things. So uh, if you looked at just kind of the average, you would look at a um, return on investment of about 12.18% through 2024. Uh, that's pretty impressive, certainly uh, for a stock and a company that has been so consistent. Um, I, I would like to have a return like that. Free cash flow wise uh, forecasts out. Um, annual rate of return of 23.72%, again, looking inexpensive. So here we have um, fast graphs saying that for the most part, this looks a bit undervalued compared to historical averages. We saw that Simply Safe Dividends said this is cheaper than average. Dividend safety of 99, meaning this 2.85% dividend yield is very safe and it looks like they're going to uh, have plenty of room to raise this dividend. Um, I'm not an investment advisor, so I definitely want you to do your own due diligence on Snap-on and all the stocks that I talk about. I do think this is a good value for the long term. This is a dividend uh, growth stock that I'm going to be buying in more here. Uh, my position in this one is too small right now. And as I said, I need to change that. So Snap-on, I'm going to be buying on dips. I'll be happy to dollar cost average into this one. Let me know what you think of this one um, in the comments below. Again, give this a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you appreciate this information. I certainly appreciate all of you who are tuning in. Uh, nice to see the growth of the channel. And uh, thank you so much to all of you. And uh, any kind of questions or comments you have for me, drop them below. If you have any specific stocks you'd like me to take a look at on fast graphs or simply save dividends, certainly let me know that as well. Hope you all are doing great and uh, let's keep building this dividend growth portfolio one stock at a time.